Greetings all, Last Outrider here with another What is Age of Sigmar video. This time we're going to be talking about the Seraphon, or as others may know them, the Lizardmen. So let's get to it. Warriors of the Stars. Around tribal fire pits and in the ruins of great cities, Stories are told of a race of Saurian warriors that lives among the stars. The origins of the Seraphon are shrouded in the mists of time, but it is said that their race had already sailed across the heavens for an epoch when the age of myth began. Legends tell of an empire within the stars, far above even the highest towers of Sigmaron, or the light of Sigindel, that burns above it, beyond the reach of all but the slant themselves. This is the place where the Seraphon dwell, waiting for the call of the Star Masters. There are many myths of how the Seraphon came to live within the stars, and why they manifest among, among the mortal realms. The venerable moon monks of Hesh speak of the Seraphon as the children of the Draconithan, spawned from its breath during the Age of Myth. They believe it is the great Drake's hatred of chaos that borns within the hearts of Sarah, oh, I'm sorry, within the hearts of the Seraphon, and that this is why the Slan loathe the Dark Gods so. The Wode Lords of the Forest of Claws tells stories of vessels that can sail between worlds. They believe that the Seraphon are on an endless crusade and that the mortal realms are but one battlefield they fight upon. The prophets of the Whispering Tower claim the Seraphon are fashioned of demon stuff, but all that is known for sure is that they do not appear without the presence of the Slan. From the Gasalt memory of these ancient seers are the Seraphon given shape. Heralded by the blazing light of Azure, the Seraphon manifest. No mortal or demon can bear to look upon their coming as the army solidifies, materializing from the fall of starlight like embers cast forth from a flame. Okay, so that tells us some of what they are. So this is what they mean when they talk about High Azure. You might hear that sometimes. This is a realm beyond Azureheim, beyond, well, as they say, anything any mortal or even Sigmar can go. That is, it is apparently on a higher level of order than anything in, in, in uh, Azure, Azureheim, uh, or uh, Sigindel, I guess is where the elves are. So it's even beyond that. It's beyond all of this. Now, the thing that I'm a little bit confused about here is that they say that the Slan call the Seraphon dreaming them into existence or remembering them into existence. So, this is a distinct departure from uh, the Lizardmen lore of old because they were all Lizardmen. The Slan was just another breed of Lizardmen. But in this case, no, 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 no. The Seraphim are the Saurus, the Croxagores, the Skinks, and uh, all of those guys. And the Slan are something else entirely. Let's go on to another section where I get this from. Okay, we can go up to... Da, 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 da. Here we go. From High Azure, 
the Seraphon hail, their realm hidden amongst the stars themselves, where no mortal may ever tread. Only the slan have the power to call down the Seraphon, and by the will of these ancient seers are the Seraphon guided to war, taking magical form as they appear upon the battlefields of the mortal realms. At a command from the slan, the Seraphon surge into battle, mortal flesh and demonic bodies hacked and torn apart under their furious onslaught. With focused rage do the Seraphon vanquish the forces of chaos, and any that stand in the service of darkness, willingly or otherwise. After the death cries of their enemies fade into silence, the Seraphon depart, leaving eerily quiet battlefields behind, littered with the broken remains of those that presumed to stand against them. They care for neither gold nor glory, and they fight for neither realm nor king. They are the wrath of the slan given form, and theirs is a war without mercy or end. As long as the chaos gods exist, the Seraphon will seek their destruction. Got it? So there you are again. Slan are not Seraphon. Slan call the Seraphon down which is what they mean there when they say if the slan are using magic to summon the seraphon then the seraphon are not actually alive they are think of it like uh the kimri you know they're they're basically being animated by magical force alone they're not actually there at least that's how I read it. I mean, you heard me read it, so so. They're they're kind of like you. You could almost call them an undead army, almost. Only they're from High Azure instead of the realm of death, as I would understand it. So you can't really kill them. That means there is as many Seraphon as there are demons. There is no limit to the amount of Seraphon that can exist. If demons and chaos is limitless, then the Seraphon are equally limitless because they are all made from the stuff of magic brought into the mortal realms. That's how I see it. They are the ultimate anti-chaos power. I hope that enlightens you a bit. Until next time... Bye.